the Stations of the Cross have been with us since the 13th century, and it's a very Franciscan devotion. Christians made pilgrimage to the Holy Land, and when the, the Turks took over Jerusalem and Christians stayed home, the Franciscan priest remembered those places that were very important in the life of Jesus. And so the, the name Stasio, Station comes from Stasio, in Latin meaning to stand. And so we're standing at various places where Jesus was. And the hymn we sing is called the Stop at Mater Dolorosa. The Sorrowful Mother Was Standing and we'll sing it at each of the stations. Um, it's a hymn to our Blessed Mother, and especially as she recalls those places where Jesus suffered on his way to Calvary. For many years, the, when a church was erected, the Stations of the Cross would be blessed by a Franciscan priest who would come out, and then a document would be issued in, in blessing the Stations of the Cross. We start our stations here today at this um, beautiful uh, stained glass of St. Luke, the physician, and he's holding the caduceus, which is a symbol of health care, and we especially um, have these stations dedicated to those who are in health care, nurses, doctors, and, and all who are in harm's way, and we ask God, the Holy Spirit, to, to be with them and bless them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have made this journey to die for me with unspeakable love, and I have so many times ungratefully abandoned you. But now I love you with all my heart, and because I love you, I am sincerely sorry for ever having offended you. Pardon me, my God, and permit me to accompany you on this journey. You go to die for love of me. I want my beloved Redeemer to die for love of you. My Jesus, I will live and die always, united to you. At the cross her station keeping, stood the mournful mother weeping, close to Jesus to the last. The first station, Pilate condemns Jesus to die. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ, after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on the cross. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate, no, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you by the merits of this sorrowful journey to assist my soul on its journey to eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than I love myself. With all my heart I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword has passed. The second station. Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider Jesus as he walked this road with the cross on his shoulders, thinking of us in offering to his Father in our behalf the death he was about to suffer. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the sufferings you've destined for me until death. I beg you, by all you suffered in carrying your cross, to help me carry mine with your perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider the first fall of Jesus. Loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns had so weakened him that he could hardly walk. 
and yet he had to carry that great load upon his shoulders. As the soldier struck him cruelly, he fell several times under the heavy cross. My beloved Jesus, it was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins which made you suffer so much. By the merits of this first fall, save me from falling into mortal sin. I love you, O oh my Jesus, with all my heart. I'm sorry that I've offended you. May I never offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Christ above in torment hangs, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. A fourth station. Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the Son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other, and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the pain you suffered in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother, and you, my queen, who was overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me by your prayers a tender and a lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine Son. I love you, Jesus, my love, above all things. I repent of ever having offended you. Never allow me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and do with me as you will. Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to behold. The fifth station, Simon of Serene helps to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how weak and weary Jesus was. At each step he was at the point of expiring, fearing that he would die on the way when they wished him to die the infamous death of the cross. They forced Simon of Cyrene to help carry the cross after our Lord. My beloved Jesus, I will not refuse the cross as Simon did. I accept and embrace it. I accept in particular the death that is destined for me, with all the pains that may accompany it. I unite it to your death, and I offer it to you. You have died for love of me, I will die for love of you, and to please you. Help me by your grace. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and do with me as you will. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain? In that mother's pain untold. The sixth station. Veronica offers her veil to Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you've redeemed the world. Consider the compassion of the holy woman, Veronica. Seeing Jesus in such distress, his face bathed in sweat and blood, she presented him with her veil. Jesus wiped his face and left upon the cloth the image of his sacred countenance. My beloved Jesus, your face was beautiful before you began this journey, and now it is no longer appears beautiful and is disfigured with wounds and blood. Alas, my soul also was once beautiful when it received your grace in baptism, but I have since then disfigured it by my sins. You alone, my Redeemer, can restore it to its former beauty. Do this by the merits of your passion, and then do with me as you will. Bruised, derided, cursed, defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody scourges rent. 
The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the second fall of Jesus under his cross renews the pain in all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have forgiven me and how many times I've fallen again and begun again to offend you. By the merits of this second fall, give me the grace to persevere in your love and death. Grant that in all my temptations, I may always have recourse to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I'm sorry that I've offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. For the sins of his own nation Saw him hang in desolation Till his spirit forth he sent The eighth station, Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the women went with compassion, seeing Jesus so distressed and dripping with blood as he walked along. Jesus said to them, Weep not so much for me, but rather for your children. My Jesus, laden with sorrows, I weep for the sins which I have committed against you because of the punishment I deserve for them. And still more, because of this pleasure they have caused you, who have loved you with an infinite love. It is your love more than the fear of hell which makes me weep for my sins. My Jesus, I love you more than myself. I'm sorry that I've offended you. Never allow me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. O oh, sweet Mother, font of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours accord. The ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus Christ fell for the third time. He was extremely weak, and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. They tried to hasten his steps, though he hardly had strength to move. My outraged Jesus, by the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me enough strength to overcome all human respect and all my evil passions which have led me to despise your friendship. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart, and I'm sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt. With the love of Christ my Lord. That ten station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Consider how Jesus was violently stripped of his clothes by his executioners. The inner garments adhered to his lacerated flesh, and the soldiers tore them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Have pity for your Savior so cruelly treated, and tell him, My innocent Jesus, by the torment you suffered in being stripped of your garments, help me to strip myself of all attachments to the things of earth, that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. I love you, O Jesus, with all my heart. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never let me be offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and do with me as you will. Holy Mother, pierce me through, in my heart each wound renew, of my Savior crucify. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. 
We adore you, Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you've redeemed the world. Consider Jesus thrown down upon the cross. He stretched out his arms and offered to his eternal Father the sacrifices of his life for our salvation. They nailed his hands and feet, and then raising the cross, left him to die in anguish. My despised Jesus, nail my heart to the cross, that it may always remain there to love you and never leave you again. I love you more than myself. I'm sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me as you will. Let me share with you his pain who for all our sins was slain. Who for me in torments die. The twelfth station. Jesus dies upon the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how your Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, is finally overwhelmed with suffering, and abandoning himself to the weight of his body, bows his head and dies. My dying Jesus, I devoutly kiss the cross on which you would die for love of me. I deserve because of my sins to die a terrible death. But your death is my hope. By the merits of your death, give me the grace to die embracing your feet and burning with love for you. I yield my soul into your hands. I love you with my whole heart. I'm sorry for having offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and do with me as you will. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. All the days that I may live. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross, you've redeemed the world. Consider how after our Lord had died, he was taken down from the cross by two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, and placed in the arms of his afflicted mother. She received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him close to her bosom. O mother of sorrows, for the love of your son, accept me as your servant and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, allow me to love you, for I desire only you and nothing more. I love you, Jesus, my love, and I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray is all I ask of you to give. The 14th station, Jesus is placed in the sepulcher. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to its burial, while his holy, holy mother went with them and arranged it in the sepulcher with her own hands. They then closed the tomb and all departed. O oh, my very Jesus, I kiss the stone that closes you in, but you gloriously did rise again on the third day. I beg you by your resurrection that I may be raised gloriously on the last day, to be united with you in heaven, to praise you and love you forever. I love you, Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended you. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. Virgin of all virgins blessed, listen to my fond request. Let me share your grief divine. Prayer to Jesus Christ crucified. O oh, good and dear Jesus, I kneel before you, asking you most earnestly to engrave upon my heart a deep and lively faith, hope, and charity 
with true repentance for my sins and a firm resolve to make amends. As I reflect upon your five wounds and dwell upon them, with deep compassion and grief, I recall, good Jesus, the words the prophet David spoke long ago concerning yourself. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. We pray especially for people around the world dealing with this pandemic and for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop, David Talley, and for all of our family and friends, and for especially the St. Francis of Assisi Parish family. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and to the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, war without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.